Hello YouTube and fellow YouTubers and subscribers and all you good people. Um, the lesson for the day is breaking the girl. It's another one of my lovely Red Hot Chili Pepper songs that I like. Uh, anyways, uh, cut to the chase. I've seen it played two ways, or more than two ways rather. This is the way I play it. If you don't like it, then you know, just leave or whatever. Um, I've seen it played with the capo on the fourth and uh, using the E. I've seen it used, uh, which is the way I play it, which is with the A. Um, you just take the A and you slide. Anyways, um, so it's pretty much an A major open chord. I hope you know it. And it goes. So you go to the fourth, and the the A is open the whole time, the open A. So uh, you go pretty much the uh, chord sequence is A, B in the A shape, C, B, C, D, E, F. Sorry, E, E, and then. Uh, you put your pinky on the ninth, on the tenth. So once again, it's second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, and then tenth fret with your pinky while you still keep the same chord. All right, and uh, I'll play it slowly for you. Which is kind of a strange approach to a chord when you think about it, but that's what I love about the song. The chords aren't necessarily, you know, hey, major, minor, whatever, but even then you could take that major chord and you play a chord progression with the same chord shape while playing the open A, which changes the way the chord sounds because you have this A droning throughout the whole chord sequence. Alright, um, so the next part is the bridge. Um, um, when it goes... Uh, Feeling so good that day. Anyway, so it goes. It's a C. It's a G. An A minor. You could just hear the chords. You could hear the you know the vocals falling through. It go. Feeling so good that day. That's the first part, and then C again. or the pre-chorus, whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, the next part's kind of tricky. This might take you a while. I'll try to explain it the best I can. Um, honestly, I learned this 10 minutes ago because it took me forever. I couldn't figure out what the hell he was playing for the chorus because if you really listen to the chords, it sounds kind of jazzy or, you know, it's not your typical chord. And uh, what they are, uh, fifth fret on the E, fifth fret on the D, fifth fret on the G, and you mute the middle, you mute the rest. See? The A is muted now. Now the A is muted. That's your first chord. Your second chord is 7 on the E, 6 on the, a, um, the D, I'm sorry, and f uh, 7 on the G. And the A is 
muted again. So you have... And now the next chord is 9 on the G, 7 on the D, and on the E you have an 8. So once again you have the 5s. The last chord that we have here is now 12 on the G, 9 on the D, and on the E you have a 10. And I guess you could play the open B if you want. I mean, it's not technically played, but it's the octave of what you're playing with your index finger, which is a B. So you could... I mean, which uh, John plays on a 12 string this song anyway, so I guess that emulates a 12 string more since you have the octaves going on. Um, but anyhow, so let's go back to the beginning. Right? You have that so far? Twisting and turning your feelings are burning. Alright? And the last chord is just... Uh, I believe that's an E. Yeah, E. Normal E bar chord, and now your pinky goes on the 10th of the E string. Right? So... And he just plays that. is the um, when they have the whole not the drum solo it's just a bunch of percussion boom and actually I mean I saw online some tabs for this I didn't think the guitar played anything but the tabs say it's a A minor C back to A minor and then uh, you have this um, Bar the ninth, like a, as if, uh, so nine you have on the, you have the both um, A, B, and G on the ninth, and then on, with your pinky you have 13 on the B. But you can kind of hear in the percussion when it goes You know, <clears throat> now I'm not too sure if it's on It might be with a 10th fret I don't recall right now But you know, uh, just listen to the song I guess It's, it's going to be either this chord or this chord, which is the same chord, just you're barring one down on the tenth instead of the ninth. I don't recall, and right now my internet's being a little funky. So um, once again, all right. So I hope you enjoyed the song. Um, leave me comments, subscribe, you know all that good stuff I usually say, and uh, have a great day, guys.